There are many mechanisms or ways you can identify individual plants in your design. Here I've um, drawn a circle and hatched it with a red colour and just put a number in the front. What I have done though is to control the stacking order. So the number in the front is on a layer called identifier number and the red bit behind is on a, on a layer called identifier and I've changed the stacking order in the layer order to make sure that the identifier number is above the identifier itself. So this is the result. So if you create a symbol such as that and just place it squarely over the trunk of the tree symbol, then when you want to create a species list, it's just a matter of copying that symbol and put it there and put it alongside. So let's imagine that this symbol represented Hymenosporum flavum. So I put the name of the plant there and its identifier or number there. I've done the same down here with this plant, the Pacific Willow sits there. There were two of them in the design, so I just copied the number two down to there. Under here we've got a swamp rose, so it's number three and sits there. So you can just build up your species list relatively easily.